Hello all, today we are producers, we're shippers, we are looking at the game container. We'll be developing our infrastructure, producing containers, pricing them, buying containers, shipping them to the island as we attempt to get the right balance of containers for maximum money. Now this one's medium complexity, it plays 3 to 5 and it takes about 60 to 90 minutes and we have the designers and publisher there as well now this version is the older one and if you like what you see the 10th anniversary jumbo edition is a must let's take a closer look then so for today's run through i have a free player setup we've got the reds yellows and the greens now i've already done an overview video and you can go and have a look at that if you just want a general idea of what this game's all about well, I'm hopefully going to dive straight in, but I will give you an initial what is going on. So every player board here is going to have their factories at the bottom. They're producing these containers that are going in your factory store. Only other players can purchase these, and these are the prices that you set them at. When people purchase them, they'll go into their harbour store, and the amount of containers they can have there is dependent on their warehouses and the quantities. You will then hope players come to your harbour to take those containers and pay that price onto the ship, and then they'll be taking that ship over to the international island here to start an auction where they may end up having those goods and you want all those containers there because you've got a secret objective and these differ and they're secret and you are aiming to get top dollar so for every orange container you have there you're going to get 10 bucks if it's not your maximum container and i'll go through all that in a moment so basically you're selling these containers for the most dollar add up any profits and dollars you've made through the game along with containers that you might still have on ships or in your harbor and Whoever has the most money is the winner. So let's kick off then with the greens. What are we going to do? So they've got a factory here in white and everyone started with a random one. They've got one container that they had to put on $2, one warehouse, and their ship is currently out at sea. Now we can see their objective card is requiring them to get orange containers. They're worth 10 each. If they manage to get one of each of these containers on the island, they're going to get the second highest figure here is going to be 10 rather than the five that's the divide symbol and you can see descending down we don't really want brown containers but there's a catch at the end when you get to end game trigger the each uh, location here that has the most of one color will be removed so for this player they probably want to get quite a few browns and then they'll be shifted out of the game and you'll be scoring these other ones so bear that in mind so we're looking at our board and what we're going to do first well let's just go for the actions we're buying a factory or a warehouse so we can see buying our infrastructure why do we want to buy factories we can see the price is six nine and twelve well the more factories the more things we can produce in different color containers and you can't have the same type of factory again we couldn't go a white one there so let's go and buy an orange one we want to go in competition with this place so we pay our six bucks and that was literally buying a factory. Now, I should add, you have two actions on your go. One of them, we've just bought a factory. We could have bought a warehouse, and maybe we are going to. Maybe our second action is to buy a warehouse. But I would not recommend going that heavy on your infrastructure straight away and building an engine because the money is cycling from player to player. Some of it's leaving. Some of it's subsidized back in from the government. So we've done that one. What else do we want to do? We're going to buy merchandise from a harbor store. So we're looking at this thinking, okay oh i forgot to give in an orange container on two there so we want orange containers is what we're hoping to achieve and get on the board now we're gonna go and buy some merchandise for our harbor store so we're looking at our opponents we've got a black container for two and an orange container for two we're literally gonna take this container and it goes from their factory store into our harbor store and we do have a starting warehouse so we've got a capacity of one container we can put now these prices dictate take what opponents are going to buy it for so it's not ours it's going to be hopefully sold to one of our opponents for a good price and let's price it at three dollars so we're going to pay two bucks 
to our opponent because we purchased it from their factory store. So a little bit about capacities then. For each warehouse, you can have one container here. You can have as many containers on a certain price as you want. For each factory, you can have two containers in your factory store. So at the moment, we can have four there. Okay, so that was their second action, buy merchandise for your Harbour store. Let's go over to this player then. They've got two actions. And I'll come round to pre-actions in a moment. So these guys are going to produce merchandise. We haven't done that one yet. So they've got one black, one black factory that's going to produce one black container and you have to produce if the containers are available and you have the capacity which we do because we've got one factory capacity of two now where are we going to put this maybe we're going to go in the one we're going to have a little bit of flexibility if if, if people want more of those okay looking at their particular objective thereafter the whites and blacks to get out as well so what does that mean then they probably want to value these quite cheap maybe I'm not giving you a strategy card here but other players will buy them put them in their harbour store and then the yellows could go to their harbour store to take them to the island and try and potentially win them to put them in their particular area okay so they have produced merchandise now you can only produce once on your turn and you have to pay a one dollar fee to the player to the right so these guys are getting a dollar because we produced Okay, what can we do next? We can move the ship. So currently, they're in the open sea. You could move it for one spot into a harbour of either of your ponies. You can't come in your own. So let's say we come over here. Now, it doesn't have to match the particular harbour where the prices are. You can see they're out of sync anyway. So we're going to go in here. <clears throat> and that is our go. Now, whilst we're there, we can purchase several as many as we can fit on the ship which is five of these containers so let's say we want to buy this now before someone else comes and grabs it for three dollars so we pop it on here and they may have had a chance if we didn't buy now to to influence the price and make it more expensive so we then pay our free money and that is over to that player. Now we can stay in port there and we could again buy something on our next turn but we've already used our two actions to what did we do we, we uh, come on. We moved out to harbour and we produced. Yeah, that was it. Produced. We could. St well, I'll give you a demo of what I'm on about in a, in, in a minute. So we'll stay there for now. That's how two goes done. Right. Over to the red player then. Let's go and build a. Let's go and produce as well, shall we? So we're going to produce one orange container now we're looking at our competition we're gonna price it at two again someone bought it previously at two so let's do the same now we can only produce once that's fine and for the second action we are going to invest in a warehouse it's going to cost us four and we're going to pay this four back to the supply and now we have the capacity to store two containers in our harbor okay that was our second action. Back around then. We just keep going. The greens are up. They're going to produce. So they're going to take an orange and a white this time. Now they can see their competitors have priced it too. So they're going to be cheeky and go for one. And remember, they're paying a dollar to the player to their right. So they are getting some money. And their capacity is still fine. Two capacity for each factory, so they can hold up to four containers. Okie doke. Their second action, then, is going to be... Have we got enough money? Let's go and buy someone else's container for one. So we're going to pay that player one. We are going to ship this into our harbour store area. And let's value this. So we paid one. Let's value it free to try and entice the yellow player, which we've just taken it off their board. And they do probably want it because they can see they're going to get some nice points for that at the end, potentially. Right. That was... What did we do? We produced. We did a harbour... Uh, buy merchandise from the harbour store. Okay. Over to the yellow zone. They are still here. Perfect example. Now... They can buy this straight away, but it's going to be a whole action to do so. So they place that in there, and they're going to pay free back to this player. Now, they can't move. Well, they can move, but that's going to be an extra action, whereas before, when we came into the harbour store, we could buy immediately as part of the same action. So our second action is literally to move into the sea. That's the yellow's done. 
Reds are up then. So you can see how simplistic these moves are. You're either buying infrastructure, you're producing, you're taking containers of other people's factory stores, that's coming to your harbour, or you're moving your ships. Now, that's the main actions then. And I'll go through the auction in a moment. There are some pre-actions to note. So every time it gets to your go, before you do your two actions, if you have a loan, you're going to have to pay $1 interest for that. So you can see it's going to get you 10 bucks when you take a loan out and you kind of keep them here and you can only ever have a maximum of two. So if you have two loans, you're paying $2 interest for that one. Okay, where were we? Yellow, reds are up. No, reds. Oh, oh, I forgot one more pre-action. That's the loans. If you do want to play the beginner variant, which I'd probably highly recommend, before you'll go, you can sell a container from your factory store straight to the supply for $2, which is crucial getting that income into the economy here. Well, revenue, yep. Yeah. So these guys are thinking, okay, I am probably going to go and buy something from another factory store so their objective card maybe they just want to get this black one something cheap there's, there's quite a few nice things here so let's go and buy this orange one for a cost of one and it's going to go in their harbor store they pay the one now if we want to buy something from another player we could have bought as many as we wanted there folks we could have bought this one and another one here but only two because we've got two warehouses which is a capacity of two but for another action, it's going to cost you another action to go and buy from another a player. Do we want to do this for this player? Yes, let's go and buy that for two as well. And we'll put it on the same spot. Okay, so that was our two actions. We've done the buy merchandise off the harbour store. Okay, back around to the blue player. They are going to move this ship into harbour. They're going to buy these two here. And that's going to cost them six bucks. And they pay that to this player. Very nice. And they're equally going to produce again. So in doing so, they're paying a dollar to the player to the right. They are going to get an orange and a white, and they've still got capacity to do so, and they're going to put them dirt cheap on the one, shall we say. Okay. Now, you could do that action without... Uh, well, you have to produce in that case, but um, you can just do it to vary your harbour goods, maybe. So you don't like the prices, so you don't necessarily want to produce, but you want to go and mix those prices up a little bit there. Okay, so that was their first go then. Where are we? Greens. Maybe they're going to come out into the sea as their second action. Over to yellows, here we go. So their first action. Now, interestingly, of your two actions, if you move on to the international island, that will end your go. So bear in mind the timing of when you do this. So maybe, first off, we want to go and do a produce action. So we're going to take one of these black containers, we're going to pop it on one, and we're going to pay a dollar to the player to the right. Done. Now we are heading to the island. So this is where it gets interesting. All the opponents, so in this case, green and red, are going to make a secret bid. So let me just take some random cards here. Boom. They reveal them. And the yellow player has an interesting decision now. Are they going to accept the highest bid, which is free from the red player? Or if they decide to refuse it, they will pay the same value free themselves to the bank out of their own money to keep these goods instead. So let's go through this then. So these guys have been unsuccessful, so they're going to take their money back. And the yellow player is looking at their card thinking, right, I could really do with a black and an orange. Oh, they could do with some money as well. So let's give you two examples. Let's say they really want those goods. They put these in the yellow section for them. Uh, this player gets their money back and the yellow player is spending the matching bid to the bank. The money is out of this closed economy here. Well, not completely closed. Or they could sell these containers to this player, which they're going to do. So they're going to put them in the red section. They're going to take this money, and this money will be matched by the bank. So you're getting $3 and another $3 from the bank. Excellent. We're getting more money than our opponents. So maybe we've forgotten the, the value of those for now and keeping more money to give us you know more options to develop our infrastructure and what have you or we'll buy containers cheaper from our opponents who then have less money because they've got containers here and they need to acquire more money and they're on to drop the prices and you're buying them cheap so 
Fascinating, folks. Okay, so that finishes off their turn. We are over to the Reds then. Where are they? They are going to buy. Well, they've just acquired quite a bit of money. And they're going to go and buy a another factory. Now, let's go for a tan colour because no one has it. We're paying six to the supply. And that is done. Remember, you can't have the same colours. Okay, so we've bought a factory, which is increases our capacity. Second, we're going to buy merchandise from our Arbor store. Let's take these two valued uh, want to pop. Okay, so these are going to come in our harbour store. We can hold up to two. And let's go a two and a three there. Okay. That was our second action. Back around to the blues. They're equally going to come to the island now. They're going to do another action first, which is produce. So they're going to pay a dollar. So the player to the right, done. And they are going to produce another orange and a white, which they're going to put cheap as chips again there. Now they're off to the island. So a bid happens between yellow and reds. Let's say the bid. Now there's two goods there. This is do it cheap. There'll be more money than this, but I just want to give you a demo. So the bids are out. They're revealed. We've got a two and a two. There's a tie. So what happens here? Another a uh, secret bid happens between the players who tied. So they're bidding again. And this time, we reveal. These guys have put two. These guys have put one. So the yellow players have the highest bid. Reds are getting their money back. So do the blue players want to accept this bid of four and match it again with the government subsidy or take these goods? They are going to... Oh... They're going to take the money. So they take this four. They have another matching four from the bank. Give them some funds. And these are going to the yellow player this time. And the ship remains there. It's an actual action to go out there. So that, folks, is the bulk of the actions. Now, in terms of loans, at any point on your turn, you're like, right, I need to bid more. I'm going to take this loan. You plonk it here. You get your money. And away you go. You do everything like you would normally. But at the end of when it comes back round to the pre-action you're paying one dollar for each loan boom that goes out and you got that beginner variant if you if you want to utilize that so this is going to just keep going until i'll bring into view these stacks now, on a free play game there is 12 each of these containers and once two of these stacks have been exhausted you are ending the game that player will finish their turn and how are we going to score up then so you're looking at your cards. Now, let's just assume this was any of these players. Let's just give you a demo of how this would work. Okay. This is the state of play. Two of these columns have been exhausted. You're going to first off remove the... Well, you're going to check if you've hit the criteria. So if you have or at least one of each of these containers, which the yellow player does, they are going to trigger the right-hand side of this dash, which is 10 VPs for each tan. If you haven't, you're getting the left figure, which is five for whichever player that was. So let's go with the yellows first then. They've got all the criteria. Great. They then get rid of the one that has the most containers, which is a tie in this case. So if it's a tie, they're going to have to remove the second one down, which is blacks. Let's just say they had three blacks there. They're going to have to remove the most, which is all three of these blacks, so they're gone. They're then going to score up all these, so they're getting 10 for the white, 4 for the orange, they're getting 2 for the tan, and 6 for the brown. Add up all that value to any money in their hand, they're going to get some money for containers in your harbour, and some money for those on ships in, in play as well. You will then reduce your money pot by 11 for each loan that you have not paid off. Everyone does the same. Whoever has the most money is the winner of container. There we are, folks. Enjoy.